So where we're at, this, this is how we do lunch in here. My mom, can you show me where the Ziploc bags are, mom? My mom can barely reach because everything's in the front seat. This is our, this is all of our Norma Tech. This is our high tech medical equipment. Hi guys, this is Jason coming to you with another episode of Relive the Run. Four years ago, I ran over 3,000 miles across America for a top 10 fastest crossing and the first ever by a blind person. And I learned a lot. Coming to you with a lesson a day from what I learned. And the lesson for today, four years ago, was leave the past in the past. And how this happened was I had had a person from my past offer to come out and run with me um, at this point in time. And also what happened on this day was there was a new person who just met me at the border of Pennsylvania and offered to run with me the entire day. Um, and it was really hard to not tell the person from my past, yeah, come on out, you know, run with me, you know, it's familiar, that type of thing. But then there was also this new person who came out and it turned out that I left the past in the past and I spent time with this new person who was present, the person who'd actually showed up. And what I realized from this lesson was that when you are present and you're present with yourself, present with your emotions, present with your feelings, and you let the past just stay in the past, you're able to experience life a different way. So the metaphor here was actually with two people, but I think the metaphor applies you know, beyond, much beyond people. It could be emotions, it could be experiences, it could be relationships. But let the past stay in the past. And sometimes we're so busy thinking about um, you know, what's happened that's already gone by, that's behind us, we lose sight of what's right in front of us right now. I wrote a book about my run across America. It's called Running Into the Dark. My second book, The Success Cycle, will be out in the summer of 2020, so be on the lookout for that. I'm also a keynote commencement address speaker, so if you need something fresh, inspiring, motivating for your team, hit me up. What more can you be doing? We live a very comfortable existence. If it doesn't challenge you, it is not gonna change you. And I also teach individuals and organizations about success and resilience so I can help you there. Until tomorrow, remember, leave the past in the past where it belongs. This is Jason, onward. Mm -hmm.